Hello, my name is Lunchbox, and today we're going to be talking about how to play as Krona Tank at Deimos using the Edge strategy. This video assumes that you already know the basics of this fight, and the basics of playing as a support Chrono. Please note this tanking strategy is intended for groups learning the fight, and does make the fight take significantly longer. However, this tanking strategy trivializes some mechanics that commonly wipe newer groups. Let's jump on into this. I suggest to bring Chaos, Inspiration, and Chronomancer. That is Chaos top, bottom, bottom. Chaos has a lot of self-sustained, and it is easy to get alacrity or quickness up on you, and also provides lots of protection and regeneration. For inspiration, bring middle, middle, middle. Restorative mantras here will help you keep yourself and Saul topped off. And the inspiring distortion minor trait is an additional Aegis for your oil kiter if you need it. Do remember that a distortion for you will not provide yourself with a block for mine crush. So be sure to only pop Distortion if you're already set up to block Mine Crush. Finally, for Chronomancer, bring Bottom, Bottom, Middle. For Armor and Trinkets, I would say just full Minstrels with Durability Runes. The more self-sustained you are, the better. Deimos deals a lot of passive damage, and you'll regularly have the weak-minded debuff on you. For Weapons, bring Sword and Shield with an offhand sword. Sword 4 provides an additional block if you find yourself needing an emergency one. For your heal skill, bring Heal Mantra. When treated with restorative mantras, it's the highest rate of healing for both yourself and allies. For your utilities, make sure you're at least bringing the Well of Precog. Your other utilities are mostly up to you and what your group struggles with. Sometimes it might make sense to bring a third Well instead of Signet of Inspiration, since most of the fight you'll be more than 600 range away from the Zerg. And for your elite, take Time Warp and try to pop it on the Zerg and Continuum Split whenever you can. Your main goal is tank for Deimos, using this strategy is to stay alive. Going down at any time will force your oil kiter to come res you, putting them in unnecessary danger and almost always results in a wipe. For the first part of the fight, you have two options. Either go up with the Zerg to help coordinate chains so that they are destroyed simultaneously, and while doing this potentially taking the slam aggro away from one of the DPS attacking chains or stay down and help hold the prides using Sword 3. Once all of the chains are destroyed, your job begins. For Chrono Tanking at Deimos, you'll want to prioritize reacting to Deimos' attacks rather than executing your rotation perfectly. The first part of the fight, there is no oil mechanic, so you'll keep the boss in the center of the platform, placing your wells on the Zerg between mechanics. Save your Blurred Frenzy for each of Deimos' annihilate attacks, these attacks are spaced out enough so that Blurred Frenzy will always be off cooldown by the time that he does it again. Once you get more comfortable with the Deimos Dance, you can distort the first Annihilate attack to give your Zerg an Aegis so they can save a dodge and not interrupt their opening rotations. Because you are in the center of the platform, you can go into the bubble during the Mind Crush as well. Do note that you can still block Mind Crush while inside the bubble if you want to practice for the real deal. Just be sure that you're going back out in front of Deimos after the Mind Crush is over. The oils mechanic starts at 60% health, but you'll want to start positioning yourself for edge strategy a little bit before that. So at around 65%, start walking Deimos to the edge of the arena, opposite of your hand kiter. At this point, you and your oil kiter should be separated from the group. Keep up with the same strategy as before, but remember a mistake now will mean that you're dead, or really dead. When Deimos is charging up his mind crush attack, Find your oil kiter and put a precog on their feet. Be sure to announce to them where you've placed it if you're using voice comms. They should be bringing their own block, but the more insurance the better. After placing your precog, use shield 4 as your own block for mine crush. Remember, there will always be an annihilate shortly after mine crush. I find it useful to use my deja vu block for this since you can block while also moving. Once Deimos has used annihilate, heal up since at this point you'll have the weak-minded debuff and a big demon smacking you. There are gaps between Deimos' attacks where you can throw your Well of Quickness or Alacrity and Time Warp close to the center of the platform onto the Zerg. This is going to go on for a few minutes, so make sure you stay focused. Missing one Annihilate attack will knock you off the platform. For the last 10%, make sure you or a designated battle buddy is kiting oils near Deimos. If you're the one oil kiting at this phase, try your best to stand as close to Deimos as possible to leave the maximum amount of space for your Zerg. Remember not to stand too close to the center, 
Deimos may slam right, but if you're standing in the center, it will still knock you back. Try your best not to stand in front of other oils. You risk being knocked back into an oil if you aren't aware of your positioning. When Deimos slams both of his hands at once, try to pop a precog or distort Aegis on the Zerg to protect them as best as you can. I've found that standing directly under Deimos during the Annihilate attack will sometimes knock you back anyway, even with Blurred Frenzy. This is probably due to the final pizza slice popping at the very end of your Blurred Frenzy animation, which means you get hit. What I do to prevent this is to step slightly away from Deimos immediately before he does his Annihilate attack. Additionally, with Annihilate, if you're going to fail the mechanic, fail it by being knocked into the center of the arena, not off the edge. If you have absolutely no blocks available, dodge through Deimos as a final resort. Be wary of your hand kiter taking aggro from you. This most often happens if your hand kiter gains higher toughness than you through a trait on Revenant. If your group's hand kiter is newer, I recommend maximizing your toughness as much as you can go. If you find yourself dying a lot near the end of the fight, it is most likely to do with unmanaged tears. If you see a tear nearby and your oil kiter can't grab it, try to take care of it in between attacks. Do not go too far out of your way to grab the tear. Only attempt it if it is really close. And that's all I have for chrono tanking at Deimos using the edge strategy. I know it's a lot to take in, but the more you know about your role at each boss, the easier each boss will feel. If you have any questions beyond what was covered in the video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to clear things up. Thank you for watching, and good luck out there.